Minnesota Rep. Ilhan Omar is going to have some major IRS issues if lawmakers in her state have anything to say about it. State Rep. Steve Droskowski said this month that he is submitting paperwork to the Minnesota Department of Revenue and IRA to look into Rep. Omar's fraudulent taxes from 2014 and 2015, the Minnesota Sun reported. As the Minnesota Sun reported, Omar filed joint tax returns in 2014 and 2015 with Ahmed Hersey, even though she was married to Ahmed Nuasset Elmi from 2009 to 2017. Omar claims that she corrected those tax returns, though Droskowski alleges that she may have improperly used campaign funds to do so. The Republican lawmaker was joined by several of his colleagues at a Tuesday press conference, including state reps, Eric Lucero, Shane McLand, Linda Runbeck, Tim Miller, Calabar, Jeremy Munson and more. State Rep. Steve Droskowski, R. Mazepa, announced Tuesday that he is submitting formal requests to the IRS and the Minnesota Department of Revenue for a full investigation into Rep. Ilhan Omar's, DMN 05, fraudulent 2014 and 2015 tax returns. As the Minnesota Sun reported, Omar filed joint tax returns in 2014 and 2015 with Ahmed Hersey, even though she was married to Ahmed Nuasset Elmi from 2009 to 2017. Omar claims that she corrected those tax returns, though Droskowski alleges that she may have improperly used campaign funds to do so. The Republican lawmaker was joined by several of his colleagues at a Tuesday press conference, including state reps, Eric Lucero, Shane McLand, Linda Runbeck, Tim Miller, Calabar, Jeremy Munson and more. I am very pleased that several of my colleagues here in the Minnesota House are joining me in this effort, Droskowski said. More and more people are beginning to realize that Rep. Omar's deceptive conduct is unacceptable. The people deserve answers. According to a press release from Droskowski's office, the requests also ask both agencies to examine improper payments Omar accepted for speaking at various Minnesota colleges. During the time of her speeches, she was a member of the Minnesota Legislature and served on the Higher Education Committee, meaning she oversaw the budgets for the institutions she accepted payments from. I am very pleased that several of my colleagues here in the Minnesota House are joining me in this effort, the representative said. More and more people are beginning to realize that Rep. Omar's deceptive conduct is unacceptable. The people deserve answers he said. We need to know how she reported that illegal income, he said. Rep. Omar has demonstrated disdain for transparency. As such, I am asking the IRS and the Minnesota Department of Revenue to initiate a comprehensive investigation into Rep. Omar's tax returns. The Congresswoman's consistent and intentional misuses of finances should certainly be considered in this matter. You can't be legally married to one person, yet file joint income taxes with another person. Such conduct is blatantly wrong, he said. He also laced into the press and their lack of attention to the matter when one reporter asked him if he is concerned for Rep. Omar's safety. Well, I think probably everybody's got concerns about their safety. I have a lot of people ask me about my personal safety, too, he said. The representative said it would be best for the government and the media to do their job in this. You guys have been asleep at the switch on this as I've pointed out in the past, he said. I hear members of the media say that there is no definitive evidence or smoking gun in this case, if fraudulent taxes aren't a smoking gun or felonious behavior, then I don't know what is anymore, he said. Facebook has greatly reduced the distribution of our stories in our readers' news feeds and is instead promoting mainstream media sources. When you share to your friends, however, you greatly help distribute our content. 
Please take a moment and consider sharing this article with your friends and family. Thank you.